Pao ng Pinoy is looking for producers or correspondents from various parts of the U.S. and Canada. Please submit your resume and sample scripts to jobs at pinoy.tv. Join Pao ng Pinoy in our Filipino greatness. In our next segment, we'd like to bring you the story of another accomplished Filipino fashion designer. Despite his success, he stays humble, having increasing clientele outside the Philippines. Francis Libiran says he doesn't have plans on relocating abroad and would like to remain working in his studio workshop in Kamunin, Quezon City, Philippines. He is currently one of the most sought after fashion designers among the Filipino celebrities today. Let's watch his story. Francis started to make a name for himself in the rare field of hot couture and international fashion runways. Francis Libiran is joining the ranks of our very own world acclaimed designers such as Pitoy Moreno and Monique Lulier. Before turning his creativity towards fashion design, Libiran was first of all an architect. It is this architectural perspective that guides him in his fashion, artistry and designs. Coco Chanel herself said, fashion is architecture. It is a matter of proportions. I was born in the Philippines December 8th um, in um, Manila. So I, I graduated architecture in USD. So that's what, that was my major. I worked for two years. But during that two years, my passion really was um, designing. Kasi. So I got bored in that two years while working in the Philippines. So what I did was ventured into fashion. Before, we, my dad used to take me to tailoring um, shops in the Philippines to do custom-made clothes. So from that time on, the passion of, uh, you know, parang pumuporma, doon ko nakuha yun. So eventually, from that time on, sabi ko, wow, why not make it into a business? You okay. know? So that's how I started. My dad's a businessman. My mom is into more of very artistic into anything. So I guess I got both from um, the business sense of my dad and the artistic side naman of my mom. Also, Lola Ren is very artistic when it comes to, to, to crafts, right? So leathers and something. So I guess I got that from them, from that side of the family. Growing up, I guess I have three role models. My dad, you know, I saw my dad how he do business. My mom being an artist and also Lola, Lola Mona, you know, seeing her creativity that really stuck in my head when I was growing up. Visiting her factory in Quezon City every summer and being creative with, uh, with the leather goods, that's something that I treasure. Ko eh. My mom would go to her costurera. I have a fun time. I would look at them for hours, observe and see. Just deep inside, eh? not, not ano, para bang just observing me. Really. Pero not knowing that one day, I'll be, I'll, I'll be doing it. <laughs> During that time when I was studying in USD, my goals are already set. You know, it's more of like making it big, making things happen. Eventually, when I was studying there, I, I told myself, I want to have a, a furniture line in the future. You know, I love designing furniture then. It's not basically just clothes. It's more of like home accessories and clothes. So that's how I, I picture myself when I was a student. That's my goals are. Picking up architecture, um, since my dad is also in the housing business, so it made me exposed to housing. You know, the design, the layouts and something. So architecture is something that I really like also. You know, but realizing it during that time when I graduated already, parang it came to a point where you'll start from the very bottom. You'll start as a draftsman. So your creative juices is very limited. So I feel na parang I got, I got bored at one point and I told myself, I want to design something for myself. It clothes is my expression of what I really like. Eh? So I started from that time on. I started the business, um, the name was Nyork, that we started at 2000 with Miguel Leiva and R.C. Baltazar. Okay, we started that brand. So I, I remembered um, me and Miguel were like looking at so many details. We love our money. So what we did is we invested in one coat, took it apart, and checked what's inside. 
what makes our Anormani suit so special. <laughs> so maybe we could do it. So that's what we did. That's, that's the start that we, I know. <laughs> so by taking that suit apart, did you mm -hmm. feel like you were also taking apart the talents you had inside and in a way putting it together yeah. into creating? Mm -hmm. so, um, how has your creativity been sparked by this? So that time when we were like doing that, it's a collaboration between me and Miguel that time. So we would experiment, we would try it on. So ang, ang ano namin is both of us. It's kami yung nag sample kami yung nag try on. So, whatever looks good on us, I think we could sell. Which, that's a nice, ano, that's a nice parang formula in doing business. You have, you to, have be to be confident. Yeah, you have to be, parang, be proud of your product. Be proud of what you're doing. I started the business first. So, um, I said, I need to know the technicalities of this business, this fashion business. So, I enrolled in a in a short course in the Philippines at um, Fashion Institute of the Philippines. So from that time on, I, I studied, I guess, a year to do cutting and pattern making. So that helped me a lot in, in, in doing what I'm doing right now. So the technicalities, the cuttings, the techniques, yun lahat yun na ano ko, na nagawa namin. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's a saying that goes that if you, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. That's true. That's how I feel. You know, every time I go to, to work, I'm on a, when I sit down in my desk and in my chair, it's my parang safe ground. You know, I, I'm in control. All my creative juices would run, you know, and a day would pass. It's like I start at 7 and sometimes I end up at 10 without knowing that the day had ended already. Francis made his splash at the popular show, America's Next Top Model, and the gown he created especially for Tyra Banks for the 2012 Blossom Ball held in New York garnered for her best dress accolade. Next year, Libiran will be opening his own shop right in Hollywood. I'm set with my goals, you know, at this point, I really want to achieve more because I feel like I haven't reached the goal that I really wanted. Francis Liberan is talagang medyo, ano siya eh, set to his dreams, you know? And nothing's talag, gonna stop you. Nothing's gonna stop me, you know, no so matter what. Where do you see Francis Liberan in the line in, in the future, let's just say in five years or ten years? Well, my, my goal right now is to make it international. That's how I really want myself to be in, and that's how I picture myself. And eventually, I would um, do a lifestyle line, eventually, which we're trying to develop right now. It's more of like a furniture line, home accessories, you know, anything that comes um, from design. That's what I like doing. You know what? I'm, I'm so proud of the Filipino designers because Filipino designers, they would do something from scratch. We improvise. I mean, in the Philippines, we don't have the technology if you see that. Right? So what we do as a designer, how can we do something challenging that's really nice without using the modern technology, right? So that's how the creativity of the Filipino comes in. As a Filipino designer, I'm proud to say that we make use of whatever we have around. You know, there's a lot of Filipino designers who's in Dubai, around the world making it just because when they have the, the machinery already, the outcome is really nice. I believe in the Filipino talent. and it, They just need a big break in that international scene. And it will fly off. Yan ang power ng Pinoy. As you have seen and heard, there's so much we Filipinos can be proud of. We have produced talented fashion designers such as Crisanta Malik or Francis Libiran. We hope that their story has inspired you to follow your passion. Join us again next week as we embark on another journey together. We hope to bring you the best so that you too can be the best in your chosen professions. Meanwhile, you too can share your stories with us on Facebook. Tell us what inspires or motivates you to reach for your dreams, whether you're in the Middle East, Europe or Asia, or anywhere in the world. Because nothing is impossible to achieve your goals as long as you plan ahead, pray hard, 
and work even harder. And if you do well, help others do well too. Dahil yan ang power ng Pinoy.